this little guy here in the night with a one second shutter took this photo. Today we're going to talk about the DJI Mini 2. It's a pretty little mighty machine, I have to say. Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome to the video, it's your camera boy Jonah and well I kind of got into a new hobby of photography, a new side of photography let's say and it's the one up from the air. I just got this DJI drone and I kind of by accident took some photos with it and I really loved it so I think I'm really gonna make more of these. Now you actually saw some video shots of the drone already. In this video I'm gonna talk specifically about the photo quality, uh, show you some photos that I took. Don't be too hard on me on the comments, it's the first time that I attempted it. So yeah, let's have a look at some photos of the drone and see for yourself what you think of the quality. I actually printed one out because I just built this new little studio setup and I thought it would be cool to have some orange contrasting the teal here. So as you can see, this is the print of the drone, I'll show you. Here we have Natasha thinking about life in the Dubai desert. I think it looks pretty cool in the overall studio setup. So let's start with some daytime shots. I thought this specific picture was cool because you have the Burj Khalifa in the background. I would have liked actually being a little bit closer so that you would really see it's there. I know it because I shot the picture, but it's so small that, that if you don't know it, you probably don't see it. And I kind of like the colors of the houses, like the more orange of the, the houses and the sand. And then like the more blue of the kind of like skyline of Dubai. Now, as you can see, the before is kind of like, uh, kind of dull. You really have to do some editing with these photos to make them kind of up. And then uh, something I want to show you guys right off the start is let's say a little bit of a negative but let's zoom in a little bit and then you kind of actually see that the quality sort of sucks <laughs> like it's super cool that with this tiny drone you can actually take photos so I'm not complaining you know because it's awesome that it can take a photo I think they're super cool and they're perfectly fine for Instagram, social media content or whatever. But uh, yeah, if you zoom in, you just see that the quality is just quite, quite muddy, you know? Like there's not much detail and, and the detail is also very grainy. I don't know what to call it, but it's just not really high quality, let's say. Let's actually compare a shot of the iPhone 12 Pro Max that I, that I have here now. Zoomed in at the same size that this one is zoomed in and then you kind of see that like yeah, the DJI Mini 2, I'm sorry my little bro, but uh, he has some catching up to do with the iPhone nowadays. If you're looking for the best, best, best photo quality, might not be the drone for you. Then I have another shot uh, in the same area where I included the water also. I think that looks pretty cool, like the, the blue sky and the blue water and then the orange of the, the beach and the city and the bush in the background. Now let's continue to some other shots. So this is kind of the main road in Dubai. Dubai is, you know, a city that's just kind of made up. It didn't exist. They built it. And the cool part about that is that they just built this one nice big road that connects everything. And there's also the metro on there. Uh, you can actually see it, like this little uh, orange thing that's kind of a metro station and the whole line is a metro line. So I really love those shots. I kind of gave them a very uh, moody edit. Um, also just because there was not much to edit in some way, you can't do much with the colors and the dynamic range as well, it kind of falls apart pretty easily. So that's why I just went with this edit uh, that made it kind of look the most quality like let's say. By the way check out my Lightroom presets, they're down in the link below and for the people that don't have the money because they spend too much on Christmas gifts, I also have one free Lightroom preset down in the description for you. And then a photo that I actually really like and that I'm really kind of sad about that the quality just isn't that good uh, is this one here where I saw that uh, Burj Khalifa was kind of framed between these two other buildings so that was kind of a nice like you know, framing and your eyes leading to the bush. But just because of the quality, I'll, again, I'll kind of zoom in again. I couldn't do much with like cropping later in editing or something like that, because I might have wanted to even go a little closer in the crop. Yeah, just something about the quality of, of the bush and the buildings is just uh, not, not really it. Not complaining here, because what can you expect? This drone is pretty affordable. And I'm actually happy that I had it with me because I was like not afraid to fly it in Dubai while another drone, I don't know what the regulations are, but um, yeah, I would be kind of afraid to maybe crash that into one of those expensive buildings or uh, get a fine or something while with this drone. 
that should be more fine, that should be more okay to fly because uh, it's just kind of as a hobby. I'm gonna show one more photo series now uh, at sunset and after I'm gonna show you some low light because there I was kind of surprised by something that uh, the drone was able to do. So now let's first check out these sunset shots that I got here. So I was at the area of the bush Al Arab and the sun was kind of like in a, in a very nice position to get that orange glow, that nice uh, travel feeling. I tried to get some shots with the palm trees in the foreground, leading your eye and the focus to the, to the bush. Again, quality just ain't really it when I look at these palm trees. They're, they're kind of weird looking because of it. They're like very sharp, but like not detailed at the same time. Now, if I kind of then go to this shot, which I really, really love, is the one where I'm a bit further and you kind of have more like the city, just the city, and then the bush all up really in the distance. There, the quality kind of matters less because there is just less detail to see in some way in the shot because it's all more from a distance. So that's maybe something to keep in mind with the drone, that it's kind of good to not go for the shots where there's more detail or you're closer to something and go actually a bit further then uh, you see it less. Also pretty funny story there. <laughs> I almost lost the drone, it was maybe the second flight. And when I was flying it, I didn't notice. But when I wanted to fly the drone back to me, I saw that it couldn't fly back. The wind was too strong for this little drone. So, so this is a tip, if you buy the drone uh, and it's a little bit windy, let's say, get it up in the air and then fly against the wind to see if it can actually handle it. Because I was really stressing out my drone above the sea and not being able to fly back. Then I finally managed to fly it a little bit back, but just not entirely to me. The battery was almost empty, you know, it's like a super stressy situation. I'm trying to figure out where the drone is, then you get this notification that the battery is dying. So you did an emergency landing somewhere on the sand. Luckily the camera was still on and I was just trying to figure out where the drone landed or running around on the sand. But yeah, not super vibey let's say when you're flying the drone for like the second time <laughs> that you almost lose it. By the way, check out also my vlog channel where I actually show you some, some of my travels, some of these travels for example. If you're interested in that, link is in the description. Then I also got this shot here of this mosque. A uh, little bit strange to try to edit the colors. Yeah, maybe I'm just a bad editor, I don't know. Just something about the orange I couldn't get entirely right, but uh, I kind of liked it and I also tried to frame the Burj Khalifa in between these pillars, these towers of this mosque. Again, the bush is a little bit too small, so you don't really see it if you don't know it, but I thought that was a cool frame. Then one of the other days we did a desert safari with my little cute girl Natasha and I quickly tried to get some shots there as well. Uh, the sun was going down, quite cool and so made this big sun in the background but um, yeah let's say the backlight scenario it just really blow it out and the dynamic range ain't too crazy with this drone but still I really kind of like the shot and actually the, the warm vibe that it you know you're, you're in the desert the sun is warm there the sun is beating you down so it kind of matches the vibe i think and again it's even crazy that this little drone can even take photos sometimes people are just so hard on equipment all the time while we should be pretty happy that this fella exists and you can just grab that throw it in your kind of almost in your hoodie or your pocket of your jeans or something and just take it with you uh, then the sun went down and i got this shot which is a little bit going towards low light. Pretty happy with those actually, I think they're pretty cool shots. And now let's go to the low light shots, some night shots, because I went back to the bush. For the shot that I wanted to get there, and I really like this picture, I like the fact that the bush was kind of lit up orange at that moment, and this other building lit up blue, which is sort of like videographers have <laughs> some natural well natural it's artificial lighting <laughs> but let's say some uh you know some teal and orange that i didn't have to force myself but that was actually there here i saw that uh, i will pop up a shot of iso 3200 ah also not super usable let's say 
But what the cool thing was and what I didn't expect and what I kind of don't even understand still at this point was I took a shot where I put the shutter speed at one second and the thing, the little small thing was stable and took a stable sharp shot. That I'm actually really amazed by. DJI, um, <laughs> that is insane. Like I kind of don't know how this drone did it because there was some wind and I thought that the shot would be completely blurry. But no, it did fine. And because of that, I actually have a clean shot because I could put the ISO uh, way less because of the long shutter speed. And I got this shot, which I think looks kind of insane. Like, you know, I can beat this drone saying that the quality in it when you zoom in, etc., and the detail. But at the end of the day, it took this photo, this, this little guy here in the night with a one second shutter took this photo. And it looks perfectly fine when you would post it uh, on Facebook or Instagram. So, so I even think in some way you could do client work with this as long as the client is going to use it for their social media. But that is nowadays just kind of a big actually part of uh, work, let's say. So you can use this guy for professional work, uh, not for printing uh, big prints or billboards or like any clients who want to show it somewhere uh, inside on a big TV or something. It's, you know, let's say it's not a professional drone, but you can get away with it if it's for social media content. So in conclusion, I think it's pretty crazy that this drone can, can do what I just showed you. I just did it for the first time. So I'm by no means a good uh, drone photographer. Um, I guess a more experienced person can get more better shots with it. Let me know what you think of the shot though, you know. Um, maybe just keep it a little bit nice. You know, it's just my first attempt. I just tried to get some photos in between shooting some video. Go check them out on my Instagram, Jonah Vagabond, because there they actually look pretty fine. And see you in the next video. I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty stoked to make more videos again. I built this studio especially, so now that I can really be a YouTuber, I guess, you know, like the guy with the neon sign and the little colored RGB lights and all that stuff. So peace out, have a good night, have a good morning, whatever it is, and see you in the next one.